Hi guys and welcome back to Drawing Inspiration. This is a two part video of which I compare Clip Studio and Photoshop in their like painted sort of style. Now I know Clip Studio does really good uh, manga, anime, cartoony sort of images but I wanted to see what it was like with painter style as a lot of people I know from watching YouTube uh, use Photoshop for this sort of thing. And I also have been using Photoshop a fair amount, just getting used to the whole more painty, less cartoony. So I wanted to see the comparison of the two and obviously share my results with you. So for this image, I decided to draw a sort of piratey scene. Bear in mind, my skills of painting still aren't that great. And I try to cover up a little bit by using um, some fog but I feel like some of the issue was to do with the program as well I found it easier doing a more painted style with Photoshop I guess it's because of the brush tools I have some custom brushes in Photoshop that I don't have in clip because I haven't learned how to do that yet and the brush tools they give you just are a bit weird and I don't really like them so as far as getting a more natural feel a better texture Photoshop was certainly better at that than clip studios but I hope you guys enjoy watching me attempt slash fail at drawing two different scenes in a painted style as I want to just progress in my skill level overall. Uh, I can keep drawing cartoons if I want and get better than that but I feel if I push myself to do a different style of drawing uh, something I personally think a little bit more visually appealing to me and something I'd love to be able to do. Um, I kind of settled with cartoons because it was easier and it's something I could pick up faster. But if I can move into the more painted style then I definitely just would be a lot bit happier. And I'm sure my images would look better as well. And some of you would be probably more inclined to watch. Because that's how YouTube works. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys just watch my struggle and I'll just point things in here and there, things I noticed, things I struggled with, just little bits of me talking, you know, like the usual stuff. So enjoy! So here you can see I start to use the more of a textured approach with my brushes. I'm starting to put the basic colours in now. Lighter at the back, as I get darker to the forward, just something I picked up when I was studying art, school and college. But yeah, this is where I'm just putting on the basic colours. I'm trying to get a little bit of texture in there. Uh, generally putting everything on different layers just to help me sort it all out later. Later on I also like neaten things up and I try and get things to look better. As you can see, I haven't done my usual outlines. I'm just trying to get the painted sort of effect where you don't have outlines. It's just sort of one colour to the next. Maybe a bit of rim lighting, but that's pretty much it. Here you can see I'm starting to try and define the outlines of all the shapes such as the hills, the water, the, the clouds later on, the boat in this case. I'm trying to use their lighter, darker and mid-tones in order to sort of make it look like a ship. I mean it doesn't look like a ship right now and I'm not entirely sure it even looks like a ship at the end either. But this is where I'm just trying to stop it looking like just a blob on the page and starting to make it look more like it's actually moving. 
and I'm just experimenting, making mistakes, rubbing out, trying again, trying to cover up. But this is the area in which I struggled the most with, especially with Clip Studio, just the lack of texture I could put in. I just felt like I couldn't blend the colours to the same degree. Here you can see I'm trying to compensate by changing the colour values by using those slidey bars. But I'm just trying to add some texture here and there. I find myself struggling with a certain area, I'll move on, I'll do it something elsewhere and then I'll come back to that. As you can see I'm trying to do some a little bit of rim lighting, it's not turning out too great. but. At least you can start to see that they are hills rather than just a big blob of green in the middle of the screen. In this section it's just me just playing around with different values like the level curve there, changing things around individually, just, just trying to make it look more appealing, try and cover up where my skills are lacking or where the program like sort of hinders me a little bit. But here's also another classic example where when you start to get a bit frustrated, which I was at this point, just to pause and walk away, go grab yourself a cup of tea or a coffee and just chill out a little bit because I end up making some mistakes that I couldn't reverse. So here's what the final image actually looks like. As you can see, it didn't turn out fantastic. I like the fact that I was able to put a little bit more detail in the normal if it didn't look so clean. Obviously, as I work on this, my skills progress. It will just, it will start to look better, especially as I 
try and find which program would be better suited. I started using Clip Studio because it worked well, making nice clean lines, but the painted style doesn't really like controlled lines. That's where I think Photoshop will come in better. So she, as far as color coordination, how it's able to blend colors together, Photoshop's far more powerful at that than Clip Studios. So I'm hoping that will help cover up those issues. So this is the end of the video. Sorry if it seemed a bit rushed. I've just had an incredibly busy week. And honestly, I wasn't sure I was able to get these videos out in time. But I'm working on the next week video already. Got most of it already done, most of the recording. Just got to do the final colour. But until then, I'll see you next time.